What's going on guys? So for those of you who watched my videos in the past, you know that I like to use Asian carp for bait. I have several different videos on how I prepare these carp and use them for bait. Even though the river is absolutely loaded with these things and they're a major invasive species here in Kentucky, they can still be pretty hard to catch sometimes. There's three ways that I know of to catch these carp for bait, guys. One of them is going to be in the cast net, which can be kind of tricky sometimes because these fish spook very, very easy. The bigger ones can also shred a cast net because they thrash around. They're just big, strong fish. Second way I know of is to find them on your fish finder, drive around and around in circles in your boat until one of them finally jumps in your boat, which can be kind of dangerous sometimes because these things can hit you pretty hard. The third way that I know of to get these carp is to shoot them with a bow, which I've never done before, but that's what we're going to do in today's video. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get right to it. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> this is about the best way I know of to try to get some of these carp. They're not in here thick enough to get them in the cast net. There's a lot of mixed feelings about this bow fishing. People think it's a waste just because people shoot all these fish and leave them laying, but uh, the only intentions I have with this thing right here is to shoot my bait. That's it. <laughs> There's one right there. I need some like polarized glasses. Yeah. It's right there, but uh, the glare on the water is keeping me from being able to see it. Gotta remember to push that button. The first time I ever tried to shoot this thing, guys, I forgot to push the button and there went my arrow. They don't float. Oh gosh, that's bad. How are you so bad? I mean, maybe you ain't bad. Maybe it's just it's hard to shoot them. But God, there's some over there. I see some. I see some over there. I don't think the camera will focus on them, but hope that. Oh. come off all right i aimed like three foot low on that one i thought when people said i aim low i thought they meant like six inches no it's way more than six inches five feet he don't get off. Is he on it? Oh, no. he's just barely that thing's barely in there we gotta be careful Oh my gosh, he finally got one. <laughs> oh. It's the first Asian carp you've ever shot. First one I ever shot, guys. It only took me about 30 shots to get one. First ever carp ever shot in the bow. If we can get one more, we'll be good. All right, let's see if we can get another one. I think I got it figured out now on how to, how to shoot it. Once I figure this stuff out, guys, this is going to be a very easy way to get these Asian carp. I just hope that was skill and that wasn't just luck. I got it. I'm starting to figure it out because you got to aim low. Look, here's another one right here. We hit one, but it got away. Well, the one that jumped was what that one you hit. And they're all coming up. Da 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 Here's one swimming at us, see it? We got it figured oh, out. Off. Oh, get off. Well, he might die later and flip back up. Yeah, I hit him in the head. This thing's not penetrating very good. I don't understand that. Is it sharp? It's sharp, but it's not going in very far. We're going to try to do some flathead fishing today. 
if the flathead fishing doesn't work out, we'll go uh, do some drifting for some blue cats. But uh, we're going to start out fishing under some barges. It's getting that time of year. Uh, the fish, the flathead fishing should be pretty good. We're going to go set up on some barges and see what happens. Well, yeehaw. So I got some frozen skipjack and some Asian carp, of course. Those are my two baits that I usually try to bring with me now. Since we are flathead fishing today, I would love to have some live gizzard shad, some small live Asian carp. I just couldn't come up with any live bait today, but normally I do better on the river with cut bait anyway. I don't know why that is. If I go to a lake, I rarely catch a flathead on, on cut bait, but when I go to the river, uh, I seem to catch more flatheads on uh, cut bait. I'm sure part of that's uh, the current. We're just throwing our baits as close to these barges as we can get them. I better check my bait. I threw that one up in the bar. This is definitely one of my favorite places to target these flatheads. It's under these bars. All right, we got our baits in the water. We're gonna give it probably 30 minutes here and see what happens. If nothing happens here, we'll move down to the next barge and try that. We're in about 20 foot of water here. There's really nothing here other than the barges to attract the fish, but I did see some shad here. And these barges, they just provide shade during the daytime. There's normally a lot of structure up underneath of them. Sometimes you can use your side scan to see the structure under the barge. Yeah. All right, guys, so we had a little bit of a change of plans instead of uh, Instead of trying to anchor up, we're gonna do some drift fishing in some deeper water. There's just really not enough current to try to anchor up today. So we're gonna do some suspend fishing in about 40 foot of water here. And, you know, we still got a shot at a flathead, but we'll probably catch blue cats doing this, but that's fine with me. So we fished several different spots, guys, and it has been absolutely a tough bite out here tonight. We fished deep water, shallow water. We fished barges. The sun just set. We anchored up here in the mouth of a creek. We're going to sit here, I don't know, probably an hour or so. And if we don't get anything here, I guess we'll be skunked. But we're just going to hope for the best. Hope a big fish swims along. we got good fresh bait out. We're going to see what happens, guys. Coming straight to me. He buried it, but I don't think he's much at all. Or he didn't get skunked. Yeah, it's been a tough day out here fishing, guys. It was tough getting bait, as you all seen. <laughs> and it's been a, it's been tough fishing. This is not not a very big fish at all, but I'm thankful to have him. Wasn't a skunk. Woo. And we're not skunked. Never been. That suspended rig that I had. I, did, I couldn't find any floats. And they're all in my other boat. So I tied a little balloon on here and blew it up. Just something to get it up off the bottom a little bit. And that's the one he took. Is it big? Like a 15 pounder or a 7 pounder? A little better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, he's too big to keep. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a piece of skipjack. There we go, guys. We're going to sit here just a little bit longer. 
See Never. if we can come up with something a little bigger. Yeah, it's been a tough, tough <laughs> day out here fishing. I just got a Carolina rig here and I'm put a long leader on it and tied a little balloon a few inches mm -hmm. above the hook. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't have any uh, peg floats on my boat. But it worked. There's not much current today. <laughs> and I definitely don't want my baits laying in the mud. There's no current to hold it up off the bottom. So I put a little float on there. I like to use three-way rigs to keep my baits up off the bottom. But if you don't have current, a three-way rig is useless. So that's when we put the floats on the line to hold it up off the bottom a little bit. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. We got rained out, didn't have the bimini top on, and uh, I'm about to starve to death. We're gonna go get us something to eat. Wasn't a, wasn't a very action-packed day out here on the water, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. But we still had fun. I kind of learned how to shoot my bow a little bit. That's really going to help me in the future on getting these uh, carp to use for bait. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. He ain't a bad one either. He's a good one. Oh. Why don't you pull him into the boat? You scared of him? He's been on there for a long time. Why do you say that? Ow! I mean, he nailed me. <laughs> them things is dangerous, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Them teeth will cut you. I'm, I might be hurt. <laughs>